<laughs> Look at this thing, guys. Guys, the hike towards the agates has officially started. I'm super pumped. Let's go. To be honest with you guys though, I'm really taking it easy because I've actually had like food poisoning for the last few days. And this is like the first day that I'm feeling good. It's gonna be a challenge to pack out heavy stone on my back, trying to conserve as much energy as I can on the approach hike. I'm taking a break right now, guys, and the trop facile, my fossilized log, is actually just under of a kilometer away. But as you can see, it's a lot of elevation going up the mountain. I forgot how hard of a hike this was. It's like straight uphill through rock scrambles. And I kind of made a little mistake. I didn't pack out enough water with me. I only have like a liter, maybe. Not even. And I wore these shorts that are like doubled. So they're super warm and I'm sweating bullets right now. So I'm slowly making progress. I've stopped near this big rock because it's emanating a lot of uh, fresh coolness with the, with the moss so I'm chilling here for a minute and uh, then I'm gonna make another push push for the agates look at this big tree it looks small on video what the heck it is not small it's huge and it looks ancient Hey guys, I made it to where the scramble starts to get opalized and agatized. I'm pretty stoked and I have a short story for you. First time I came here was on the 30th of August 2020 and I found a big beautiful piece of opal agate or I'm not sure, I'll include a picture. And it was sitting right there, cleaned nice and ready for me with the green like bah, bursting in the sun. So me and my were so happy to find it. And we just continued up the mountain to find more. And uh, yeah, I just checked my GPS and funny thing is it's like, it's almost uh, four years ago perfectly. It was on the yeah 30th, 30th of August, 2020. So we're, I think we're the 29th today or 28th. So funny coincidence, I come back here almost four years later. Uh, yeah, still having a blast. It's a really nice spot. Guys, look at this. It's the first piece that I found today. It was lying right there. Dog is way over yonder. We need to continue the hike. Having just said this, I have found the first piece of fossilized wood. Look at this. A nice chunk, so stoked, I'm gonna look for more. And I also found these pieces of uh, agatized material, but they're not lapidary grade and I have a lot back home, so they will stay on the mountain. It's really nice material, but most of it Friend. is like way too crumbly for me to do anything but collect as specimens, as you just saw. Nice piece of fossilized wood. Ooh, wow, that's nice. It's got some green in there with the nice apparent bark. This is not totally opalized, 
We're getting near the big log. That the hardest part is actually the hike down with a fully loaded backpack. Guys, we are only 300 meters away from the fossil log. I'm so stoked. Uh, it's the first, the nearest I've been. This I've been. This, I, I'm losing words. And there's these big mounds of red dirt. And they, there's some nice jasper. Guys, this is what I typically find over here and this is what I'm trying to not pack out as much of this time because as usual I reach nicer pieces up the mountain and my pack is full so this one's a keeper it doesn't have any big cracks and the way the stone is kind of I forgot what it's called but it looks like moss agate and it's really really cool so I'm gonna keep that piece for sure and I'm also keeping this piece with the red because those pieces with the red I've noticed are always really dense honestly it kind of looks like a piece of fossil wood to me like a knot or something but yeah with the texture here I love these stones my oh my look what I just found look at that shard wow Unreal. Oh my god, and right above it. <laughs> yeah. We're approaching guys. I'm a little bit anxious. It's been over three years since I've been here. Two years, I think. Yeah, so the log was two years ago. And uh, I really hope it's still there. And that nobody has picked it up since. Honestly, the piece was huge. And... Either way, going up or down the mountain, it's going to take a lot of effort. So, fingers crossed it's still there. Guys, guess what I found? The log. Some people are screaming down the mountain, which is kind of stressing me out, not going to lie. Found my log, guys. I'm so stoked. There it is. Oh yes. Wow, such a nice piece. I wonder if I was the one who laid it here. Is it the same log? Hmm. Guys, maybe this isn't the same log. Because apparently my marker is 30 meters up there. But, wow. I'm taking this home. Guys, I'm officially... <gasps> there it is. Oh my god, the fossil log, guys. I found it. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look at that thing. No way. Yo. Wow. It's huge. I'm not sure how I'm even going to pack it out. And some people keep screaming. I hope they're not after this log. Ah, uh, probably not. They're probably just enjoying the outdoors. <laughs> Last time I was here, I thought that this was the Holy Grail, but you never know what is just a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna put my bag down here. And I'm just gonna go walk 30 meters up to see uh, if I can spot anything, but no, actually, I think I already did this, and this is like the nice piece. Should just pack it out. Guys, it's funny because the main log in my souvenirs was a bit more epic than it actually was. And the smaller log leaning up to it, I think, is the real treasure. Look at it. Look at this thing, guys. 
Oh my god. It's actually kind of a challenge to put in my bag, not gonna lie. It's in. This backpack is so heavy, guys. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna actually keep both logs. I might just keep the white one and leave the gray one on the mountain. It feels like it's probably 80 pounds or 70 pounds heavy. And this is what I have to go down. It's gonna be fun. I'm hiking back to the car. The mission was a success. I got some nice opal pieces and the big log. Honestly, the big log that I had noted on my GPS was too fractured. So I tried to keep one of the big pieces, but it was too heavy. So I still have the big white log, which uh, in my opinion was nicer after all than the other log. And I'm carrying it down the mountain at the moment. Honestly, it's harder than expected, um, probably because of the food poisoning I had recently. I feel pretty weak, but all in all, it's a success. The log was still there and we'll make it back to the car slowly but surely. I have to be careful walking around this type of terrain with a loaded backpack, pack frame. If you guys ever want to do some serious rock hounding, you need a pack frame to uh, get out the heavy rocks. You can't just use a backpack. Right now I'd be struggling, like you have no idea. My backpack actually has like a fully metal frame in it. it. Allows me to carry heavy load. So that's why I'm not struggling too much with probably around 50, 60 pounds on my back. But it's still a very physical walk. And I gotta be careful because if I trip over in this type of terrain, it fucking sucks. <laughs> because yeah, if I trip over in this type of terrain, it can be very dangerous for my ankles. And this is such cool material. If it didn't fracture so easily, I'd make beautiful pendants with it. But unfortunately, because of the nature of the material it's mostly specimen pieces but i will try to actually make jewelry out of some for the first time when i get back home guys this is the last piece i found it's really big but it's kind of agatized so i'm taking it back with me but that makes my pack so heavy oh la la Making my way down the mountain with the backpack full. Ow. Just grab the wild rose bush. Not a good handle. Yeah, so I'm making my way down the mountain with my backpack full. And it's challenging. I'm extremely grateful that the stones were still there two years later. It was such a blast finding them, and I'm gonna be so stoked when I get to my car, honestly. Um, it's probably one of the heavier loads I've taken down this mountain. And as you can see, the hike is nice. It's a beautiful hike, but it's not like a real trail or anything. And there's a lot of scrambles, so yeah. One of the last scrambles that I have to cross. Let's go. I totally just fell, guys, crossing this this tree. And I was blessed by these branches that caught my backpack, but if it wasn't for that, I would have I would be like a turtle right now. 
Guys, we made it down the mountain. Woo, what a relief. <laughs> Stoked, we made it. It was a success. We made it down the mountain, guys. Walking back to my car. Vapor flies at a little backstory on this spot. The way I first found it was through a book and uh, it described a ranch and that you had to talk to this local ranch owner, an older guy. So when I came down the dirt road for eight kilometers, having located the spot, expecting a ranch, I actually found a huge resort. <laughs> That's why I'm parked in the visitor parking of the said resort. Guys, my car is there. Let's go, it's with the yellow kayak. Oh my god, guys, we made it back. There's the backpack, still loaded with rocks. I'll clean, the, clean them up later and show you guys the final product and our final haul. Mission was a success. Ha <laughs> ha